It's happened again on Long Island. Another massive fish kill is inundating the Peconic River with thousands of dead bunker bait fish. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Riverhead on the environmental and economic impact. Marinas are swamped. From Moose Lodge to Indian Island Golf Course, the Peconic River is choked with piles of smelly, decaying bunker fish. For the second time in as many weeks, a massive die-off. It's filling the marina and it's congregating around the boats and it's inhibiting us from going kayaking. Locals dashing off photos to document the incredible sight quickly because the stench is overwhelmingly nauseating. Oh, the wind is, is as it, moving as the, the tide changes and the breeze comes off the water. We're camping. Tourists are evacuating campgrounds. The town supervisor working on a cleanup with the DEC, the Water Authority, and Coast Guard. There's a confluence of events that have caused this problem, <clears throat> and uh, the biggest issue um, is that we have too many bunker and too many bluefish. We boated down the Peconic River where we could still spot the predator bluefish chasing the baitfish bunker into shallow waters where they can't breathe. Lots of blue-green algae that respire at night help deplete what little oxygen remains. The oxygen levels in the Peconic River went to zero. Stony Brook marine scientist Chris Gobler says brown tide is also creating high nitrogen levels and notes that about 90% of homes in and around the area of the river have septic systems. The town is in the process of upgrading its sewage treatment facility while preparing to remove dead fish by the thousands. How many tons of bunker are in here? We'll find out tomorrow. They're going to start removing them 6 a.m. If we just left them, they would contribute a lot of nitrogen to the water. The plan is to pay fishermen 32 cents a pound to net the fish, bring them here to the docks where they will be scooped into waiting trucks and hauled to the landfill to be buried. From Riverhead, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.